Hello and welcome to episode 13 of Learning to Fly. It's my flying vlog as hopefully you're following me through my journey to try and gain my national private pilot's license with Kemble Flying Club from Cotswold Airport. see the video from the day where only recently I took my first dual navigation exercise often called a navex with my instructor David Young I've got the syllabus here and it states that a minimum total of five hours navigation flying training must be completed within the period of 24 months immediately prior to license application or application to remove operational limits um, I'm going for the full license straight away so basically um, because I the aircraft isn't fitted with the GPS I won't be using the GPS. My instructor does have my GPS on his knee, but he blocks it with the map and stuff. So I'm just going off the chart. I've fully plotted out my route using my chart and my protractor and my ruler and everything before the flight. You can stick with the video and right at the end, I'll show you how to do the triangle of velocities and working out the winds and stuff like that. So if you're interested in the slightly more theory side of stuff, watch until the end. And this is the first part of a two part episode really. So we're just gonna do in this video today from basically Kemble to Clench Common, which is exactly where I flew into. It's about 21 nautical miles and uh, safe to say the first five miles, I was a bit all over the place. We've got the uh, map. We've plotted our route and uh, we've got our halfway marker, three quarters of the way, a quarter of the way, we've got our wind, we've plotted our winds with a triangle of velocities. We've got our notes with clench common and the frequency we need, the runway in use at the moment, and the QFE as well. Golf Lima Sierra, ready for departure. Golf Lima Sierra, runway 08 grass, take off for your discretion, the wind is 1105 knots. Taking off Golf Lima Sierra. All ready, all ready to go? Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's in line with the runway. And we know what the wind is doing, it's just from slightly from the and our abort point. Uh, because and it looks up here actually it's slightly from the right, isn't it? Very yeah, slightly. sorry. Yeah, from Bravo Zulu Delta Alpha, just, Campbell yeah. information, passing us. Good. Okay. Bravo Zulu Delta Alpha, Okay, so it's going to be RPM max. Uh, acceleration normal. Acceleration normal. Uh, Airspeed active. Airspeed active. Yeah, okay, there we go. Happy? Yeah, cool. Go Delta Alpha with 08 Go Max. Acceleration normal. Airspeed active. Go Delta Alpha. Go Delta Alpha. Go Delta Alpha. Go that's all right. Doing Golf Bravo Charlie to the November. If you'd like to taxi left on Golf to Delta and to North Apron for your stop, we put it completely ready for departure. That's good. Okay, so I'm looking for one four seven degrees from now on. Yeah, but it's Excuse me, Golf X-ray Tango Limo Crescent. So, can you see Oaksy Park Airfield? Which should be down here somewhere on our left. Is it? I believe. Well, what was your heading you're supposed to be on? One four seven. Uh, what are we on now? Uh, one five. So is that? Uh, no, that's think about it. We're on south. One eight zero. Oh, so I need to go left. How many degrees? Yeah. By twenty uh, degrees. Thirty degrees. Yeah. Look out there for thirty degrees. Can't be left. Okay. Thirty degrees. Well done. Okay. All right. So there's the railway line. There we go. So that's good. So the railway line is. Across here, isn't it? So we should go over that. Yeah, so you're a little bit right on track at the moment, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. So looking, looking for Oaksy. It's right underneath us, just here. Look. Just, you back up. Yep. See it just down there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So, so we're there. Yes. Instead of here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you don't want to go too bad with your alterations. No, no, no. So we have left the AGZ up. We've left the AGZ now, so you can say goodbye to the other one. Change your comrade, okay. Roger, you're quite in the middle. Golf Lima Sierra, leaving the AGZ, changing on route. 
Coffee Lima Sierra, Cotswold 1022, speak on a route, speak you later. 1022, thank you, Coffee Lima Sierra. And shall I climb then up and get into yeah, some... Yeah, we'll get some sensible altitude now, but also, okay. just looking at this, you're on 120. Yeah, yes, 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 yeah. What is it, out? so what is it, 147? 147. So, so, 20, 30, 30, 50. So we're going to need 30 degrees this way. Yeah, look out. I've got a helicopter pointing. And come on to a new reference point over here. Yeah, the head point ahead. Just going to come into a climb. 1008 uh, right hand did you say and report overhead uh, Golf Alpha Fox. Golf Alpha Fox 08 right hand open. Have you run through a Frieda check yet? I haven't yet, so, so go through your Frieda check leaving the AGZ, look. Okay, yeah. So fuel, good, we haven't had that. Copy your Zulu, if you just hold position, I've just got PA28. Uh, radio, we've done our leaving the AGZ. Right. Might just turn that down if that's okay? Yeah, sure. Have we said goodbye to them? We've said goodbye to them, yeah, yeah they right. call. Yeah, sorry. Um, so, Frida, e engine T's and P's are good. Yeah. Uh, that's the railway lane down there. Yeah. Uh, D direction, so we're heading on one, four. It's quite hard to read a compass, actually. That's quite an interesting thing. Yeah, we're on one, four, seven. Uh, oh, and uh, altitude. 2,000, uh, no, 1,700 feet. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So that's the railway line following... Uh, no, it's not right, is it? What's the, what's the Q&H? Oh, the Q&H, yes. 1022. That's it. There we go. That's what I needed to do. So what can you see ahead of you, reading ground to map? So ground to map, I can see Swindon. Yeah. And I can see, that should mean that Lynham's around here somewhere. Uh, which is quite a good reference point. Is that, that's Bassett. Well, that, that, there's our map, that's our line. Yeah. There's Swindon, there's Lynham. Ah, so Lynham should be on yeah, our Yeah, you're line. right, so that's yes. what Bassett. Yeah. But we normally do it ground, ground to map. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're not far out, you're... Your line here on the map takes you right smack over the middle yep. of Wooden and Bassett. So if you just aim at aim at aim at that, yep. and then see what your your compass says, and you've got to bear in mind that particularly on a day when the wind is light yep. um, and, and variable, yep. that what you've worked out on the ground is potentially more be. likely to change. Yep. Although at the moment we are in fact one five zero. And if it wouldn't bass it, all looks right. We've, we've been over Mount Mighty, yep. which I think was four and a half minutes. Yep. We're about to cross. No, it's the halfway. Um, halfway is, well, halfway is just, just past Bassett. 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 Yep. Uh, and you'll be relieved to know, after you look at your sky, David, <laughs> yes. you're back on your track. Excellent. After a little bit of wobbling around <laughs> at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Which, of course, is recorded for posterity. Oh, on no. <laughs> a bit of a <laughs> windy route. So are we just heading into sort of slightly hazier stuff, is it? Well, you've got two, yes, that's interesting. We've got two options here. Can we... Well, uh, incidentally, d just do note, we, we've come on to Wood Bassett fairly quickly. Yes, we have. So we needed to be trying to pick a reference ahead. Yeah, I've so got... So again, a, what can you see ahead of you? So I've got a yellow uh, rape field. OK, what can you see on the left of that? So on the left of that, I've got uh, a really bright white field, but that might be quite easy to get confused. I've got a solar farm, I think. To the left of that, quite considerably left. What does that look like down there? Uh, Area with some very big hangers on it. Oh yes, is that Lynham? <laughs> no. Where am I looking? Uh, There's Lynham under the wing. Oh yeah, Lynham's are right, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yes, yes. So that is Rawton. Rawton. Uh, there it is on your map. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Disused yeah, yeah. airfield. Yeah. Okay. So your track is is a good bit right of that. Yeah. So you're not far off on 150. Yeah. So, if you want to aim for that yellow rape field. Yep. Okay. That's great. Okay. Good. It's one of those days where you almost want to. Yeah, so come back to your weather uh, question. Yeah. We could climb up above the inversion and get into perfectly smooth air. Okay. Should we do that? So, let's try that. So, look out. Clear above. Airspace, so we check our map to make sure we've got no airspace issues. Which we haven't. That's fine. Okay. Uh, no, 
as I think you'll find as we break above, above the inversion layer, you'll find that um, it's a bizarre for you, sort of sight, isn't it? Now, well, yes, it might be to you. It's not to me because I'm so used to it. Well, of course, yeah. It's all the uh, pollution and everything trapped at the lower atmosphere. Yeah. Um, obviously, we're looking at it at an angle, yeah. which is why it creates this bad visibility. That's no, not too bad today. No, no, it's all right. Okay, so we're nicely above this inversion layer now, so let's level out. Okay. 4,650 feet. Yep. Okay, so I've sort of got, I've picked my next reference point, which is uh, going from the ground to map then. In fact, I might just turn that down completely. Yep. Yep. Uh, I've got a town on my left approaching. I don't know, five minutes away, but is it a town or a village? Um, so going from ground to map, and I know that there was, there was a white horse as well, but we were going to fly straight above it, so that might not be the easiest thing to see. Yeah, well, we won't be able to see that from here now, because no. we're, we're actually coming up to the the ridge. Or in fact, it's the uh, the Ridgeway footpath that we're just crossing over now. Yep. So there's the first ridge. We're now over the second ridge, yep. where there's white horses, so it's right underneath us. Okay. Yep. yep. So... The town ahead, just there to the left, big town down there. Yeah, so that is Marlborough. Marlborough. So that's you're down spot there. on track. Yeah, Heading great. One five zero. zero. Nice to position the right track. Now then, what's the net? What can you see behind Marlborough? So behind Marlborough, beyond Marlborough, yeah. or just the other side of Marlborough. What can you see? A very large area of woodland. Indeed. And what can you see just down here? I'm just going to bank up a little bit. Well, just down that ahead of us there, the nose. Uh, little town. Oh, another woodland. Another huge woodland. Yeah, so that's right. quite a good reference. So if you look here now, woodland, woodland, French common in the middle. Ah. Right. So if I aim left a touch. Yeah. We're still are we still climbing a bit? No, but you might actually start a cruise descent. Yeah. I know we've only just come up here. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But if yeah. you start a cruise descent, you'll also be able to see better where we're going. Yeah. All right. And I can tell you, you are absolutely, you've got your clench column is absolutely bang smack on the nose. Great, okay. But the problem is, if we get too close, too high, yep. it'll disappear under the nose, we won't be able to Very see it. Very difficult to see then. Uh, okay, right. so, cruise descent. This is per exactly when you want your car heat on. Uh, yeah, so we'll leave that on, that's great. Another free to check, or? Indeed. Yep. So, fuel, just under 30 litres. Radio, we can turn back up and probably tune into to Clench Common. Exactly, so we need to get the frequency on here. Uh, so I don't think you've done that before. So you press this button, no, you press that button. So now you can press the flip button to, to check for uh, other right. aircraft. Oh, so uh, to check the frequency, there we go. Marvellous. Cool, okay, so we're listening. So that was uh, E, right. engine temperatures and pressures. D, direction, you yeah, are heading on 150 towards Clench Common. And A, we're just bla breaking well, up to 4,000 feet now. Coming below that inversion layer. I'm looking for traffic as well. Right, so I would start a full blown descent now, if I were you, 4,000 feet. Just give you much better visibility to try and look for the airfield. Yeah. So, Woodland, Woodland, Marlborough, we know it's out there somewhere in the middle. Okay. Is it the one, the, the green field beyond that brown L shaped field? That's it? The brown sort of L-shaped field like Yes, yes, that. yes, yes, you're right. Is that it? Absolutely right. Yep. Uh, Clancy Common Radio, Golf, Golf Romeo, Lima. Sierra is uh, west of Eat Marlborough inbound. Just listen out in case Graham comes. Roger, Golf Lima, Sierra, we're using 07 right, QFE 1004. 07 right, 1004, Golf Lima, Sierra. Is it a 2,000 feet overhead join? You can do, or you could join at 1,500 because the circuit height is only 600 feet. But right. for noise abatement, the people were about just under here. Um, you know, uh, Graham tries to keep clearer there. Okay. So, so, but at this height, in the cruise descent, we're quiet. You know, we're quiet. We haven't got a problem at all, really. So, so zero 07 will be this one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, that's fine. So shall I start heading left to? I assume we're actually landing. Yeah, 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 we're going to cool. land. So we've, we've done the QFE. Yep. So what we'll do is we'll come down to 1,500 feet, I think, and level out. Okay. Initially. Heading straight away? Straight straight ahead? As you are, that's fine, yeah. 
then we're going to make a descent decision whether to do a dead side descent, which I think is fine. That's it. So just level out there, nice and steady. So if you go right smack into the middle of the airfield now. Okay, I'm just going to check that wing. That's it. That's 1,500 feet. It's quite a pronounced hill out here, Martin Cell Hill, 600 feet. Uh, when, okay. you're lower, when you're lower down, you can see that quite well. Yeah, I bet. That's it. Okay. So we go straight over the top of the airfield, 1,500 feet, announce our arrival. Yep. Golf Limit Sierra is overhead. Okay. You can make a right turn now at 1,500 feet. That's it. We're going to keep that going. Yeah, Roger Lima here. I forgot to mention it's 07 right, did I? Yeah, we're uh, we're just turning through the, the overhead. Yeah, Roger. We keep going. Yep. 1,500 feet. 1,500 feet. 1,500 feet. See the runway there? So you've got to cross the runway. Yep. Oh. That's it. Now you can roll out and now you can start your descent. So shut the power off. There we are. So it's very different, isn't it? Tiny, yeah. Yeah. tiny airfield. It's exciting. <laughs> That's right. So you're now dead side descending. Yep. So you know, keep it a bit tight to the airfield because of the noise objectors. Okay. Obviously, if you joined at 2,000 feet, it would make it difficult to lose the height on the dead side. Yep. Because we're going right the way down to 600 feet. So I'm now, is it this runway that we're... Parallel to this runway. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully that's zero seven. Roll out now. Roll out and see if it's zero seven on here. Uh, down to 700 feet. Oh. Yeah, there we go, zero seven. Down, down, down to, seven, to 600 feet. It's quite low. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So now you can start to come across here. Well, a little bit more power now, start to tease the power on. There's your runway. Yep. So roll out, pretty much heading for the smoke, I guess. Yep. That's it, roll out. You can see a bit more power. Quite frankly, I've got no problem about you being a bit, bit low, on, a bit high. Okay. Higher than the 600 feet. Yeah. Because when you go downwind now at this tiny circuit, a little yep. bit more power, we actually get quite close to the ground. Yes, I can imagine. We'll see. Yes. So up, off we go, downwind. A little bit more power. And the airplane's indicating a tendency to yep. sink on the VSI look. Yeah. That's it. And uh, probably roll out. Look for the runway, there it is. Yeah. Good, cool. so you can call Golf Lima Sierra downward to land 07. Golf Lima Sierra uh, downward to land 07. Don't go any lower, you're less than 600 feet now. Yeah. Okay, checks. Yeah, so trim, good, wind. It's coming slightly across the runway from the north. Okay, straight now. Right arc speed, one stage of flap. And two stages of flap. Turn in. Put all the flap on because we're a bit high. Okay. Side slip just a little bit. Uh, left rudder, left rudder, right slip. There we go. Nicely over the trees. Back into balance as we come over the trees. Yep. Make sure we clear the trees. Now you can side slip again. Left rudder, right stick. I'd go the same way. Right stick. That's it. Shut that power all the way off. All the way off. Yeah. That's it. Back into balance. Back into balance. Over the wire fence. Round out, round out, round it. Hold off, you've got plenty of space, you're fine. Yep. OK. There we are. Actually a bit fast. Mm. Bit try, the, fast. try the brake. Yep. Yeah, OK, cool. OK. All right. Uh, bring it to a halt. <sighs> yeah, um, back we go. OK. So interesting, yeah, just the grass strips, yeah. Yeah, 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 it's a whole new Short thing. grass strips, we should yeah. have had our speed much better under control. Yeah, okay. I have a habit as well, you know, it's just tiny, isn't it? 
and it swings you, around about. So if you learn to train here, you could probably land anywhere. Yeah, but, on the, but on the other hand, you don't have the radio experience and all no, that. No, no. You've got all the stuff. So. Well, that's the thing. I mean, it's it's bumpier. So on landing, there's that sort of. Uh, we're a bit quick, and one of them kicks us back into yeah. the air. And <coughs> yeah, and there's virtually no wind, so we should really have treated that as a short field takeoff and got the uh, short field landing, got the speed a bit okay. better under control. Yep. Never mind. So well flaps, are, flaps are flaps Thank you. <laughs> this place is amazing. I've just landed here in Golf Lima Sierra, the uh, Sky Ranger. It's my first land away absolutely exhilarating the circuit height feels so low i'm used to kemble i've only ever landed at kemble where you're flying you know thousand feet circuits and following pipers and and all sorts of big ga planes and here you're down at 600 feet you're flying over the trees and stooped out well you've just seen it on the video but absolutely thrilling it was it was really great and then you come into this wonderful like office and uh absolutely exhilarating you sign in it's like proper it feels like proper flying so really glad to get my first log done uh, my first land away done and um i just can't wait to do more of this stuff to be honest absolutely brilliant well as you can tell i absolutely loved the whole experience of flying into a different airfield a micro light strip really Clench Common, completely different experience to Kemble, and I really enjoyed it. So it was really good. I thoroughly recommend if you've not visited Clench Common and you're within flying distance, definitely give it a go sometime. But the same for Kemble, you know, it's a brilliant airfield as well. It's just it's just really different experience. But if you're interested in the theory side of stuff, you might be thinking how I worked out my navigation and the winds and what heading I need compared to the track and all that kind of stuff. Well, I'm no instructor, so I really don't guarantee that I'm going to get every fact in here. But this is how I plotted my just my very simple route before we took off. So all you need is a piece of paper. You need a ruler. Ideally, I mean, it doesn't have to, but ideally it's going to have a nautical miles measurement. Uh, in both scales, I say both, these are the most common scales, a one in 500,000, so a half million, one in half million and a, two, and a quarter of a million as well. You don't have enough workspace often to get the quarter of a million in, so I actually have a half million map, so it's quite easy to show you on here. So the first thing we need to do uh, is find Kemble. <laughs> Clinch Common is there. Kemble's there. Clench Common is there. First thing we do, find Kemble. It was a right-hand circuit that day, so I know that you know there's no point in going from the centre because by the time we've taken off, we'll just be off the end. We're going to try and be as accurate as possible, and we're going to draw a line straight to Clench Common. So that is our track required. So at this point, it's really worth measuring exactly how far you're going to be flying. So we know that this is a half million map, so we need to use the half million scale. It's just shy of 21 nautical miles, which is going to be useful for figuring out how long our leg is going to take. So the next step is you need your protractor and your chart, and from there you can figure out your track required, which doesn't take into account any wind. The most accurate way is to actually measure in the middle of your line. Uh, but what I'm going to do for now, just because I have can't be bothered to unfold the map <laughs> for this demonstration is just measure from here so really important that you get these uh, vertical lines uh, in line with the one so you don't want it like that you want it nice and nice and straight one four five one four six so what we're going to do is make sure of our track required is one four six degrees and our winds for example one one zero at ten knots now what we can do is Draw a vertical line okay so that's north so from that we know that our track required is 146 draw a little dot on the line which is where we're going to start off from so that's Kemble make sure your lines match up we know that we're aiming for 146 and then I draw a nice line between the two I can extend it out a little bit that's absolutely fine so we know that down here is clench common and Kemble is our starting point now we need to plot in our winds so 110 degrees at 10 knots so we find 110 is where the winds come from coming from 110 over here so you draw it downwind so 110 290 is its opposite and this is where we have to get the speed right so this is where you have to really work in the right scale so we know that 10 knots we're going to use 10 there draw a line let's say 
We'll go from 20 to 10, shall we? In fact, what I'm going to do is make the scale even smaller, so we'll, we'll double this up later. So there's five, even though we know that the scale is actually going to have to be doubled later on. And then we draw in our ASI, our, our airspeed indicated, which is going to be 70 knots or about 80 miles an hour. Again, this is probably a little bit too rough, so that's 35. So what we need to do is draw along this line so the two meet at 35. Draw a line where that comes to, and then we're going to measure our original line, and that gives us a ground speed. So that's 30, we need to double it. Ground speed is going to be 60 knots because we've got a slight headwind because it's coming from this direction. From that, we'll be able to work our... Uh, the time that it's going to take to travel 21 nautical miles. So once we've figured out our ground speed, there are two ways you can actually measure the heading that you actually need to fly. So you can either put your protractor on the original point and measure to your wind line, which is fine, or you can do exactly the same thing. I like to draw a vertical line at that point where the two lines meet and go from there and then so I'm going to say 137. So heading is 137. But then you need to adjust for magnetic variation. And at the bottom of your chart is, I think we're one degree west, basically. So you add one degree. West is best, east is least. So we add one degree if it was west, or we would remove one degree if it was east. But it might be, it varies at different times. But we know that for us at the moment, we're one degree west, so uh, what we do is we add it, so it was 137, so we say 138. So that is our heading magne magnetic that we aim for in the plane whilst we're flying. Hopefully that made some sort of sense to you, really badly explained. Uh, look, the next episode is gonna be a really brilliant one. I'm really looking forward to getting this video out, actually. It's from Clench Common back to Kemble. We had a little detour via Ave Breather Stone Circle. We chased a hot air balloon. We opened the doors up. We had some real fun with it. So make sure you uh, subscribe and you hit the bell for a notification of when that video is gonna be out as well. And just comment below if you've got any questions or anything you'd like to see in the future. And thanks again for all the subscribers and thank you for watching this video.